I was like, oh man, I gotta kind of bring this up and, and shape it in a way to King, where it's like, you know, like why is it these youth moments? Like, because what I heard recently that was like, oh wow, was like. You know, usually the best stuff comes out of like when you're a teenager or whatever, because you got, and at least the anecdote to that was from the person saying it was that because you got all the time, like nobody, you don't have like, you have somewhat of a schedule for school and stuff, but for the most part, like nobody's bothering you. Like, you know, you don't have a kid saying, feed me, you don't have this, you don't have places to be. So your mind's like just free to be pissed at the world and then come up with some pissed off piece of artwork to re- represent it. Whatever the reasons may be, it's, it's kind of maybe the even reason why I'm bringing it up. So, like, I don't have this to appreciate, but you do. Where, like, now it's been 30-some years. Like, it's only been about uh, 2008 for this Crucified Mortals to see split, where that's been 12 years. I look at this, I'm not reading what I wrote as far as the liner notes. I don't even want to hear the Crucified Mortals side, because I know that this is a demo of an era of a song that even if you gave me the studio recording, which would have, I guess, been our better uh, uh, attempt, I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> I can right, listen to right. our records and stuff, but like when it comes to more, you know, raw or quality, it's like, oh God, you know, because it's more, I guess, the audience representation is your art or whatever. So, how can, like, so I guess my question to you is then going back through these years now where Blueprints has been out. It's a classic to whatever regard of fans, maybe yourself, where you did do what most musicians do. You heard it. You found every single problem. You attempted to maybe fix it, even against what you believe as a music fan. But, like, how do you go back to evil side of religion and stuff? Like, are you able to listen to that and cringe? Or better yet, when you're doing these reissues and they're packed with bonus materials, are there things that you're just like, oh, my God, I I can't even put that on there. I know Craig might think that's cool, but, like, it's just that cringeworthy for me. I can't even do that. Or are you kind of even outside of all that and you just realize, hey, this is deceased. There's fans. Let's put it on there. Dude, life is a lesson, dude. Everything I've done is what it is. Like I said, I leave it as it is. Everything's a lesson. You're all, you're always learning. From, you learn from your mistakes. How can you learn from anything? You yeah. don't put your hand on fire. You don't know it burns. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, I, I, everything we've done. I mean, of course, things I like better than other things. I mean, I could tell you, I could say you're break down every fucking record. My least favorite record we've ever done is "As the Weird Travel On." <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And, and the reason why is, I, as the arranger of the songs, I feel like in the middle of it, some of the songs drag. They're not where they need to be. Um, I was, I was. My mind wasn't all there. I guess I had a good excuse because I had a stroke. And that's one thing I, while we're talking about the split real quick that I really do appreciate is I, I recorded those vo- that, those demos, those vocals to those demos, like literally like 12 days after I had a fucking mass of, you know, my stroke. Yeah. Wow. And uh, that was weird because I was in the studio. I remember my, my brain just telling me, what the fuck are you doing? Because, I mean, I when I go in to do vocals, I put the headphones on, and you can ask Mike Bozier at the Oblivion Studios, I don't know what comes after a hundred on the volume, but I need at least another hundred because I'm just that loud. I'm going to, I mean, I'm, I do, I'm pretty much almost broken ribs doing vocals to shit because yeah. I'm just, but anyway, at the time I was very fragile in my mind because I just had had a, a stroke to the right side of my brain and it was fucking weird as shit. So what, to get it done, I mean, I can listen to that go and, you know, I can hear myself, like even my lip, my lips are like, I was having a hard time speaking, like pronunciating at the time because wow. my muscle, my nerves and my, 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 uh, in my uh, lip area were hard to like, you know, get the S's out or the T's or whatever, just the pronunciation, beginning of parts. And I can hear, it's almost like a lisp on there. If you can, you know, if you can believe Weird. that because I was, but I just said, you know what? Fuck it. I mean, when I had the stroke, I'd already had a blood clot in 2000 and fucking two. So I was already like pissed at that. I lost 18% of my fucking lung on that one in 2002 wow. and two years later, I lost 20% of the right side of my brain because of a, bl- a blood clot that Damn. gave me a stroke. And I literally went to the, I was in the hospital. When I left the hospital, I left in a hospital gown, like the blue gowns they give you. I went to this. I went, when I left there with uh, my son and his mother, we went to the store and I literally had a shirt made right then and there that said, don't fuck with strokey. <laughs> and, and I, dude, I went to band practice. They were like, dude, you just got out of the hospital from fucking having a stroke. I'm like, dude, I can't, I gotta go. I gotta do this. I sat like 10 months after my lung because I almost died from that, like severely came close to death on that one. And I was like, I'm not doing it again. I said, I'm going into the studio. We're doing this shit, you know? And so it, it, I, I'm proud in that way, but I know and this includes even as the weird travel on as an album vocally, I know I wasn't all there. You know, I know I was building my way back and I was right. giving everything I had, but it was less than what I could give because of the simple fact that my body was learning to 
be it, be itself in a new way because you know your body can heal and all that shit. But that 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 was important to me for the time. That was very important to me that we got to do that. You know, and looking back on everything, like you're saying, some of it I I could have drummed better on Luck of the Corpse. I rushed through it. Thirteen Frightened Souls. I could have fucking been better on that. I rushed through it. Blueprints for Madness. I wish the sound was better. You go to Fearless Undead Machines. I wish the fucking mix was better because there's a lot more there. I go to Supernatural Addiction. That's my favorite deceased album. I really don't have anything bad to say about that. And that was the funnest experience <laughs> yeah. as a band we've ever had. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go to Mourner's Veil. It was the end of the relapse era. Relapse was telling a story. I can get another fucking record out because <laughs> Supernatural Addiction. You know, we needed we need to build off this. So they tried to rush us in the first attempt at a rent record. They said I went back with the guys after the, after Christmas saying we need some new songs. Nobody had any. Thing. We're like, we got nothing. And I was like, well, we got to get something because Relapse keeps ringing my fucking phone saying we need this. And that's when we all said, stop right there. Bottom line is, we go when we go. That's right. it. And that's what made us leave Relapse. That's one of the reasons we left Relapse was don't push it on us, dude, because we, you, then we're throwing out half ass shit. Right. So we got that done. We were happy with that. I love the songs on that for a farewell with that shithole label. I fucking am happy <laughs> to have done that. So then as the weird travel on, I had health issues. Serial overdose, Mark had left the band. You know, he was a fucking pretty much an original member almost back to the very, very start. You know, I fucking went back and played drums. I, you know, Dave uh, Scarface Castillo played on As the Weird yeah. Travel On. I went back on Surreal Overdose and played drums just to prove to myself if I had to do it, I could do it. And I was in fucking severe pain. I mean, I, I did the whole entire record, all the drums in six hours. I mean, the, it, it, I had to because because uh, the producer said, if you want to come back tomorrow and do some more, I said, dude, when I'm done, I can't even use the left side of my body for two weeks. I was like, I'm not even able to, I'm going to be dragging my leg through this whole fucking studio after that. You know, and I still had to put down the vocals, which again, as I said earlier, Earlier, and they're I pushed to the point where my fucking ribs are going to pop out of my fucking chest and shit. So yeah. I was happy to get through that. And I mean, there was that's my second. That's actually my second favorite deceased record. Supernatural and Surreal are my favorite two deceased records. I really like that fucking record. It's 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 got something that uh, that none of the other records have. Some people don't like that record. So I had a friend that said that's, that's the one I don't like. My son doesn't like that one too much. I call it the black sheep of the family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah go a- see White comes third. Go see White comes third. I'm very very happy with this because that was a process with Mike being overseas that we overcame. Yeah. It was like cool to get through that stuff, you know, but my problem with Ghostly White will always be that Dave died before it was even released. And man, it just mm-hmm. brings in the most ugly fucking sad feelings in my fucking body. So it, it, that takes something away from it and always will, you know, but, but that, that, that's just how it is. Life is life. I mean, I've, I've gone through hardships. I've had my ups, my downs in betweens, you know, no woe is me. It is what it is, but I wouldn't have changed anything. Yeah. Going back, I don't cringe on evil side. I don't cringe the, the demos with the list. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. 